my brakes are making a noise what could be the problem this video is just going to discuss typical brake problems the effect that you get when they start to wear what happens if we ignore it we're going to be talking about squealing grinding and other noises from the braking system and also other symptoms like dragging brakes as we pull away generating a lot of heat First up though, we need to understand what's going on in the braking system. Now with a lot of modern cars, they have regenerative braking. We're not talking about those. We're talking about the conventional brakes that all cars have, the components where a pad is pushed against the rotor or the disc, and that creates friction, slowing the car up. The kinetic energy is therefore converted into heat. The rate of spin of the wheels is slowed up and the car will slow up. When those pads start to degrade and get down to a certain level, Level, they are designed to squeal. That is a sign that we need to go and replace them. If our brakes are starting to squeal, then the pads are generally too worn and they're designed like that. That's not a fault with the pads or the braking system. It's telling you to get something done to sort it out. If we ignore that, you're going to end up wearing the brake pad surface down and you're going to have the pad backing material rubbing directly against the brake rotor or the brake disc. And that's going to score the brake disc and you're going to end up having to replace the brake disc. It really is false economy not to get that sorted. The brake pads themselves have little anti-rattle clips that keep them seated. If you're going over bumps and jolts in the road and you're noticing a rattle, that could just be that component is starting to fail. Without them, the pads effectively chatter in their housing. There's nothing pushing them, keeping them in place. And that can also lead to other brake problems. So it's something you want to address. If the guide pins are worn and develop excess play, you can have a situation where the calipers actually start to rattle and move against their brake. It. If you drive slowly over a bad road surface, shouldn't be too hard to find one around here in the UK, and you notice this rattle, then it's probably just a worn component in the brake system that's causing that to rattle. And it's something you should really pay attention to. Don't ignore those rattles, but try and determine which side it is, whether it's the front or the back, because that can make diagnosing the problem easier. And when you get the car up, you can generally see what's come loose, what's rattling around that shouldn't be. And you can get on that and fix that problem before it escalates into something much bigger. If the brakes are squeaking and squealing a little bit and it goes away, it's probably not the warning that the pads are down. It could just be a situation where the brake system has become glazed. You've been braking really gently and the rough friction surface on the brake is starting to wear into a mirror-like finish. Some of the metal components in there are starting to rub against the brake disc or the brake rotor and that causes a squealing noise when it's engaged. The harder you brake, the louder the noise is and sometimes doing a couple of emergency stops is just enough to clear that glazing and reduce the problem of squeaks coming from the braking system when you brake. If you get a squeal from the brakes as you pull away, again, that can be a problem related to the pads and glazing. And it may just mean the brakes are not in disengaging cleanly. They're starting to drag on a little bit. That's why you're getting that squeaking noise as you pull away. And that can lead to heat buildup in the brake system. If you've got a little bit of friction there, OK, it might clear up as you start driving off significant speeds. But all the while it's starting to drag, you get that squeaking, squealing or grinding noise there's friction building up and that's generating a lot of heat. Always get quality pads. Some of the cheaper pads just have too high a metal content in them. They've not been very well designed. They can also delaminate from their backing if they get too hot. And it really is a false economy getting cheap brake pads. Most people I know that have got cheap brake pads have regretted the decision and ended up buying better quality ones anyway. Just go for the better quality ones. Personally, I recommend Paget. I use them quite a lot in my cars. They give good bite, good life, and they're very well made. Let me know in the comments what your favoured brake pad make is. Grinding noises are pretty serious, especially if you've ignored a squeaking noise. And grinding noises generally indicate you've got metal on metal against the brake pads inside the brake system. It could be trapped grit. And in most cases, trapped grit does tend to wear away after a few braking applications. If you notice grooves starting to form on the brake disc that can also be a sign of contamination on the brake pad or just a breakdown of the brake pad surface. If you look through the spokes of the wheel and you've got less than three millimeters of brake pad it's worth thinking about replacing it at that level before you get any problems forming. If the disc surface is starting to get 
scored or gouged, then again, that's a signal to me to get those brake pads changed and replaced before that scoring gets so deep that you have to replace the entire brake disc or brake rotor. Common causes of brake problems is often poor lubrication when they're fitted and at your annual service, there should be some form of lubrication on the moving components of the brake system. Don't lubricate the brake disc or the pads. I've seen it done accidentally, of course, but that really does degrade the overall braking performance of the car and it's particularly dangerous. Using low quality pads that lack shims that are not built from the proper compounds and they start to degrade much more quickly. And riding the brakes downhill can cause excessive heat to build up in the braking system and that can lead to degradation of the brake. And then you've got the human error. If they've been incorrectly installed, that can lead to a lot of problems with the braking system. So if you've just had your brakes done and they're starting to squeak or they develop a squeak and a rattle just after they've been done, that can just indicate that maybe they've not been installed properly. Jump on that quickly before it escalates into a major problem. We need to make sure that new pads are bedded in properly. Now that generally means gentle stops for the first 100 miles or so. We don't want to put too much heat and too much stress in these new pads. We need to give them a bit of an opportunity to get up to operating temperature and to just burn off that break-in coating or that coating they have when they come out of the factory. I hope you found that guide really useful. Please boot the like button. That helps us to get out there. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. And I've lined up this video and this playlist that you should find really interesting. Thanks for watching. See you in these next videos.